What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're talking about these coins right here, the Gold Krugerands, and why you need to be buying these. So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so we're talking about the gold Krugerands. Some people call them Krugs. And we're talking about why you should be buying these gold coins over other types of gold coins. So I'm not going to be talking about why you should be buying gold. I mean, obviously, there's massive inflation on the horizon, and you should absolutely be putting some of your savings into gold right now. But I want to talk about these coins in particular. I haven't done a whole video on just the Krugerands yet, so this is it. Now, if you don't know anything about the Krugerands, I'm going to basically give you the whole story, and so let's start from the beginning. Now, the gold Krugerands were first minted in 1967. They're made out of 22 karat gold, or 91.67% gold. The rest is copper, and these coins, when they came out, were a huge hit. In fact, in 1980, the Krugerands were the number one gold bullion coin in the world, and they accounted for over 90% of the global gold coin market. There's been over 50 million of these coins minted, and they're absolutely stunning. On the reverse, you can see the Springbok antelope, and on the obverse, there's a picture of Paul Kruger. Now, these were one of the very first gold bullion coins to come out, and if you look at the popular one-ounce gold bullion coins on the market today, the top three would probably be the American Gold Eagle, the Canadian Gold Maple Leaf, and the South African Krugerand. Now, as I mentioned, the Krugerands came out in 1967. The Maple Leafs didn't come out until 1979, and the American Gold Eagles didn't come out until 1986. Now, when comparing all three of these coins, they're all very popular, they're all very liquid, and in my opinion, they would all be good purchases. But what about the price? Which one is the cheapest? Let's go over to SD Bullion and check it out. So SD Bullion is one of my favorite places to buy gold online. We're looking at their available gold products right now. And you can see they got some buffaloes here for $19.44. The current spot price is right around $1,750. Uh, down here we have the Eagles and the Maples. You can see 2021 Eagles for $19.31 and the 2021 Gold Maples for $18.61. So quite a bit of a premium on those. Let's go down and check out the Krugerands. And I think they currently are on sale. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But here they are, the one ounce South African Gold Krugerand coins for only $18.41. That's $20 less than the Maples and $90 less than the Eagles. They're almost as cheap as the one ounce gold coin random design here. So if you buy this random design, you'll probably end up getting uh, one of the Australian Nuggets or maybe a Philly or something like that. But you could get a Krugerand, so I guess if you want to roll the dice, you could go that route as well. Now, yes, the Krugerands are on sale right now, but typically they are one of the cheapest options when it comes to buying gold bullion coins. And uh, I just want to point out, because I'm sure someone will comment in this video, uh, this Canadian gold maple leaf is only a one quarter ounce, but that's the only one I have, so it's what I'm using for the video. The Eagle and the Krug are both one ounce. But regardless, as I just showed, the Krugerands are the cheapest of the three options. Now, when you're buying gold to preserve your wealth over a long period of time, you don't always want to pick the absolute cheapest option. You want to pick something that's going to be easy to sell in the future, something that's going to be liquid. So I actually went down to my local coin shop and I asked them, how much would they pay me if I was going to sell them today a one ounce Krugerand, a one ounce Maple, or a one ounce Eagle, and they told me they would buy the Krugerands at $3 over spot. They would buy the Maples at $5 over spot, and they would buy the Eagles back for $35 over spot. So clearly, the best deal right now would be for me to stack 
crew grands. Now there are some cons with the crew grands and probably the biggest one is that these are only 22 karat gold. Some people only want to buy 24 karat gold and if that's you then you'll have to go with the maples uh, possibly an American gold buffalo or you could get a Britannia or something like that but the reason they made these out of 22 carats was because they wanted them to be resistant to scratching so these are more durable than the 24 karat gold coins and these being the first gold bullion coin in the entire world they really set the standard with this one the other con with the Krugerrands is the color this is not a true gold color but more of a red or rose gold color because this is made out of gold and copper of course there's still a whole ounce of gold in here but because it is an alloy with gold and copper it's going to be a little bit more red compared to say the buffalo which is a true gold color even the american gold eagles are a little bit more gold colored because the eagles are made out of gold silver and copper not just gold and copper now even with those cons i still think the pros vastly outweigh them so i'm recommending the krugerrands right now for stacking gold now what about gold bars and world gold coins should you be buying those over bullion coins now in regard to gold bars i do have this tiny little one gram pamp bar i think this is the only gold bar that i have I just don't like buying gold bars and the reason is because usually when you go to sell them you will get much less than you would for a gold coin of the same size let me give you an example if I had a one ounce gold bar and I went to sell that to my local coin shop they would pay me $15 under spot for that gold bar so i would much rather be buying gold coins now in regard to world gold coins such as the 20 francs or the sovereigns or maybe even pre-33 us gold you can still buy these especially if you want to get fractional gold but if you want to get gold in the one ounce form then right now i definitely recommend the Krugs. and i will say usually you don't even get spot for these when you go to resell them unless you sell them private party so definitely keep that in mind now i know most of this video was about the krugerrands but i actually did pick up this gold buffalo here recently as well and i show you how to test it using a sigma metalytics verifier machine to make sure that it is real and authentic gold you can perform the same test on the krugerrands if you want to watch that video i'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description and also i really want to get your opinion on the krugerrands what do you think about them do you think they're a good buy right now do you own any of them i didn't mention it earlier but these actually do come in several different sizes the one ounce half ounce quarter ounce and one tenth ounce so lots of options when it comes to the Krugerrands. I definitely prefer the one ounce version, but it seems like recently because the Maples and the Eagles and the Buffaloes especially have had really high premiums because the Royal Canadian Mint and the US Mint have just been overwhelmed with orders. So the premiums have shot up on those coins, but the Krugerrands still have a modest premium so definitely leave your comment down below in the comment section what do you think about these and lastly i want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you all in the next one silver dragons out